everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Cora. I'm going to be doing a video on the Halo Best and Nest Premier Series Swivel Sleeper. I'm a first time mom. I just had my baby on June 2020 during the pandemic. So I had to buy a lot of my products online without really checking them out at the store. So I had to rely a lot on reviews and online descriptions. So I'm hoping this video will help you out if you're in the market of looking into a bedside sleeper. If you are interested in this product that I have here, I will go ahead and put a link down in my description below so you can go ahead and check it out when you're done with the video. And if you do like the video, please drop me a like or a subscribe to my channel and then I'll continue making more of these videos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So looking at the bassinet, it is in an hourglass shape. The walls is mesh. And this is, allows for visibility. I'm able to see my little one when she is in the bassinet. I can kind of see through the mesh wall during the night. And for ventilation. So if she so happens to roll over up against the mesh wall, they're able to breathe through the mesh. This rotates at 360 degrees, as you can see. And it does swivel around. So this is in my husband and I's bedroom. And this is a bedside sleeper. So I just have to go ahead and swivel it in a little bit. And it's up against my our bed. And then I can swivel it out and rotate it to adjust it when we get up in the middle of the night to change her. You'll notice that this wall is actually taller than the other wall here, which is closest to the our bed. And it's because this one right here actually moves down. And that allows, um, allows me to get my little one during the night if I wanna breastfeed her or um, wanna hold her, comfort her, and then I can just push this down and put her back in. This also is able to lock up so this wall won't go down and that is able to lock on the sides where there is a lever this gray lever here while it's up just kind of have to pull up the side wall and push that gray lever and that you can do on the other side now you just push it up uh, pull it up and then lock that lever in place you also pockets on the side. They're a bit small. I wasn't able to fill a lot of diapers or wipes in there. Um, but I do have a basket, as you can see on the side, for some of my stuff. Some of my little one stuff. But I do have a little bulb syringe in there. Just for emergencies. And you can see that this wall does not go down. And this one actually comes with the mattress that fits right in there perfectly. And I actually bought a muslin halo mattress cover that I purchased separately, but it does have a cover on it that comes with it. Which is also the same color as the rest of the bassinet. So let's go ahead and look at the control panel. For the Halo bassinet, this is the base of the swivel sleeper and there's no, you'll notice there's four points to it. It's pretty stable and it goes, it can go underneath the bed. If you notice over there, that is actually the lever to adjust the height of the bassinet. And it can go from 24 inches to 34 inches in height. Uh, for our bed, I have it at the lower setting. And also because I'm short, so it helps me when I decide to, when I get out of bed to change her. This, this is the control panel. This button is for the night light, floor night light. There's only one setting for that. This button is for the night lights on top, and there's two settings for that. You actually obviously can't see it because it's daytime. 
this play button in the middle has four soothing sounds and it, there's a water sound, a bird sound, heartbeats, and a white noise sound or sounds like rain. This is a volume. There's two settings to it. A louder, off, and a lower setting. The button to the right has, is the vibration for the bassinet. And there's two settings, a lower intensity and a higher intensity. Also just wanted to mention that for the bassinet, there's a 20 pound weight capacity and it's only recommended for ages zero to five months. I'm gonna quickly go over some pros and cons for me on the Halo Bassinet Swivel Sleeper. A pro is the mesh walls. I do find myself looking through the walls and during the night just to quickly check up on her if when I'm lying down. Also that this wall, one side does go down for me to have easier access to her um, during the night if she need, if I need to comfort her. Another pro is this control panel and the different options that it has to help soothe my little one to sleep. When I first brought home my little one, she did, I noticed that she would fall asleep with the vibration setting and with the music setting. Um, well, in comparison to the bassinet that we used during our hospital stay, she obviously didn't like that very much. And when I brought her here, used this for the first few nights, she did like those settings. She was able to sleep a little bit faster. And I do like the fact that the swivels, it's easier for me to maneuver. I'm able to have it close to my, to our bed where I can have easy access to her. And then when I do get out of the bed, I do swivel it out to change her, change her diaper in the bassinet. Another pro for me is that it does seem stable. Um, the legs on the floor do, do seem stable. It's very actually hard for me to move this. I have my husband move move it for me if I need to get it readjusted. Obviously this right here is easy to maneuver. A con for me are the pockets on the side. I don't really see them that useful. They're not that big. I am able to fit a few diapers like I have three diapers here. I'm able to fit them in there. But when I do have like a full bag of wipes or a few a full container of wipes they're a little bit hard to get into and then I'd always have to kind of take it out therefore I have a bas basket near my bassinet to have access to for my stuff another con that I've seen on some reviews that they've mentioned is that this seems a bit unstable on um, the bassinet if you were to go ahead and move it around it does move around a little bit but i don't see my little one making that much movement to have the bassinet move like that but if she does end up moving like that i think it's about time to get her out of the bassinet so for the halo bassinet it has a unique hourglass shape to it so i obviously got the mattress pad cover and the mattress fitted sheet specifically made for this and this is just wanted to show you this is the halo mattress pad cover it supposedly be oh, waterproof and it does have a unique design of an envelope to insert the mattress in also I have a halo bassinet mattress fitted sheet that's also in the hourglass shape and this also has that envelope design to enter the mattress in. And then I believe this one's cotton and on the mattress, the finish sheet that I have on the mattress is also by Halo and this one has a leaf design to it and it's a muslin, muslin, um, material and it also does have the envelope design to insert the mattress into.
So thank you for watching my video on the Halo Bassa Nest Premiere Series Swivel Sleeper. I hope it was a bit informational for you and hopefully it helps you out making a decision on your bedside sleeper for your precious little one. Otherwise, you guys have a great day and you take care. Bye.